What's the weirdest date you've been on, Ravy? Well, I, this is the worst date, and like you thought this was a date that was going to be great because number one, I was set up by somebody who I thought I trusted, and I'm uh-huh. no longer friends with them. Oh no! So, <laughs> what you <laughs> never get set up. And so our first date is going to be go to a sports bar and watch a football game, which is, I think, good for a first date because there's a lot of distractions. Yeah. So if you're not making a connection, at least you're watching football, having beers, eating food, whatever. And so we go, we're there. I thought we were having a great time. And uh, he said... Uh, I'll be right back. Like, go to the bathroom and never came back. Oh, he ghosted oh, you. Oh, wow. Left, left me with the uh, bill. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> terrible. Day. That's usually oh, Ravy's no. move. <laughs> yeah. I have never done that to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, seriously, like, ghosted. And so then I asked the friend who set it up, like, what the hell? And Damn. she said, oh, he had a family emergency. Did he? Yeah. He'll make yeah. it up to you. Did he? Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Liar. I know. Oh, man. He could have told that you. Weird. That stung. Wow. No kidding. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. Uh, Dead. Greg Gorey. I am a gay unicorn because when I first started dating dudes, I was looking for a relationship, not a hookup. And that's, I guess, pretty rare. And I was uh, on this site. I can't remember. I think it might have been Match or something like that. And I made it clear to the guys I was meeting. I'm looking for a relationship, number one. I'm just a guy who happens to be gay, like football, hockey, etc. Met this one dude who said the same thing. I haven't even come out to my family yet. And I'm totally into football, totally into hockey. Nice. So we meet, meet him in front of a coffee shop. Here's this dude with legally painted on pants, uh, scarves like Stevie Nicks, like multiple scarves, yeah. tons of jewelry. And he's like, hey, are you Greg? What's <laughs> up, girl? Hey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he didn't know anything about football, didn't know anything about hockey. And then we sat and had coffee and he told me, I just don't know how to come out to my mom. I just, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know that dog that just walked by? It knows you're gay. Like, yeah, it, it was. You're not hiding it. Horrible. And then you have to kill time. And then I think he wanted to have dinner. And then I made up some lie about how yeah. I had to leave. Yeah. I'm like, this is just not gonna work. <laughs> bye, girl. Bye. I don't know how to come yeah. out to my mom. Uh, menace. I, I just have like two really quick ones. One, I pulled a total ravey. I was on a double date. I went to the movies with uh, a buddy of mine and uh, these two girls, and one of the girls was wearing so much perfume oh. that it was giving me a headache while sitting there. right next to her. And I wasn't really into her anyway, so I told my buddy, like, hey, can, hey, can you go with me to the bathroom real quick? And I said, hey, can I, uh, can I bounce right now? <laughs> can oh, you so take you care of these girls? In. So I ghosted it. I left, and I just you know, said oh, I was so sick. There you go. And Menace then, is the kind of guy, Brave, that would do that. Yeah. No, I Go left her with somebody. Sport. I paid for everything. It's fine. Thank you. They're good. I didn't <laughs> leave good. her with any bills. <laughs> that, that, that hurt her heart. That's right. Oh. Why? Was, Ravier was stung. I was stung. Yeah. yeah. And this, like uh, that. that happened. And then one other time uh, I met up with this girl. We went to coffee shop. And she's like, yeah, let's go back to, to my house. Nice. And we go back to her house. And there's like holes in the wall. And she's like, oh, yeah, my, uh, my sister's ex like shot up. At our house, oh <laughs> and I go. Uh, Should we be here right now? <laughs> is he like geez. out and about? No, what is happening? Cool. Like, yeah. no, nah, he's cool. I, I tell you, the weirdest date still for me is that one where you know met up with this chick who uh, I'd met at this event and uh, decided we were going to meet up for dinner, which was the mistake. Oh, yeah, should have yeah. just been for drinks, right? Yeah, because we're just having a couple drinks before dinner, right? And uh, she had just recently been divorced. I was recently divorced. And so that's kind of where the conversation sure. had started, that this thing that we met up at. Oh, we should grab a drink sometime. Or uh-huh. whatever. So here we are. We're sitting there. So what happened uh, in your marriage? Like, mm-hmm. what happened? And then she, you know, asked me that question. I told her, and, you know, whatever. And uh, I said, well, what about you? She goes, well, she goes, I only married him because uh, he's black and it would piss off my dad. Oh, yeah. I'm like, Jeez. And then okay. it was the most awkward thing. I'm sitting there, and we have, like I said, we weren't even, even seated dinner yet. for dinner yeah. yet. Oh, God. And I knew immediately, like, well. All right. <laughs> You're not the one. <laughs> yeah. I have to push yeah. through this. Yeah, like. Uh, uh, I got to go. I'm supposed to be the vindictive, vengeful, you know, whatever one. Turns out I'm not hungry. Yeah, I'm not hungry. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, and it was crazy, because otherwise she was she was fine. Mm-hmm. She was nice. It was, it was weird. And I, I, you know, and I understand that some people have things with their parents, or whatever, but sure. I, to me, it's a big red flag if, like, you don't get along with your family. Like Aaron Rodgers, here's a guy 
Right. He's estranged from everybody in his family. And as the years have gone on, it turns out he's an effing weirdo. Yeah, they all, maybe they all suck too. Right? Maybe. Yeah. We don't well, know. It would, like, what everybody always says, like, at some point it's you. Yeah. If you're always pointing the finger like, well, this and that, and the, at some point it's you. So what is the weirdest place that uh, somebody has taken you on a date or worst date ever? Something weird that happened. 877 Woody. That's 877 Woody. Send us a text over to 22987. Something tells me that you would have been the person to bring them on a weird date, Seabass. That's a good question. I, I was trying <laughs> to think, like, what have I done that would be That's terrible? That's weird. But I'm pretty, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm very uncreative with dates intentionally because I don't want to, like, Oh, we're going to go hiking right. and then, you know, uh, right. make our own macrame. Like, it's very, <laughs> yes, yes. It's very he, simple. Like, he's he, very traditional. Yeah. Like, we're going to go out. <laughs> I'm not going to, I probably will never buy you dinner, especially on a first. Like, why, why <laughs> yeah. do I want to feed you? <laughs> that makes right. no sense. Uh, like, food in your belly does not get me laid. Liquor, <laughs> li- liquor does. You know, so we'll do like, mm-hmm. we'll walk around, maybe go bar yeah. hopping, stuff like that. Uh, but I think the weirdest time that it happened was the one and only time that I got a date off of uh, OK Cupid. Which is just about oh. pl- it's about plenty of fish level of gross. Oh, for sure. And I realized this when she showed up and had a mustache. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! <laughs> she was, not, and then like a big like tattoo of over boob that was just gross, looked like prison style. So I I was like, we were talking. She was obviously really into me, of course. So Natural. oh yeah, of course, oh, obviously. She's like, oh, and so she says, I want to go back to your place, and I'm like, oh yeah, okay, because I just didn't want to say no. And so I tried to lose her on the way back to my house because yeah. we were both driven. Tried to ditch her. Yeah. But she, what if, she followed me, and then I, don't, yeah. I said, okay, let's bang. What about that one time uh-huh. you, you were wearing like a woman's nightgown, and you were trying to fight some guy outside his house? Oh, that was that was at the end of the night that where <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't intentionally a bad date. Plus, oh. I'd known that like that girl and I had been friends and slam, oh, okay. slam buddies for a while. We showed up. The girl who we met, we met a girl, another couple at a bar that we neither of us knew, went back to her apartment. Had a threesome. The guy got pissed because he wanted to bang the girl that I had just had a threesome with. She lost her passport in the couch we later found. And then she was screaming and crying because she had to go to China the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> he was pissed at me. He yeah, left. They uh, locked him out of the apartment. He broke the window. Yeah. And then I was wearing, I had no clothes on, so I just grabbed the girl's like kimono Night that she had. Yeah. <laughs> My wiener's like flying all over the place because it's, it's like, like small girl size. And he's trying to fight me through the gate of their apartment complex. The cops came because yeah. they broke his, or they, you know. So that was, yeah. that sounds wonderful. But that, that, wasn't the, that wasn't the premise of the date. Oh, okay. Uh, text here from the 609. We got Jamie. It says, I went on a date with a guy who loved Chuck Norris jokes and told me every single one. Yeah. All Blech. night. Lucky. Oh. No, thank That's you. hot. Oh. Woody. <laughs> no, it was not. I hate those Ten jokes. Ten years ago. No, I never liked those <laughs> jokes. You love dad jokes, oh. though. I, yeah, very the, daddish. The, the Chuck Norris ones. Or I, I, That's I've where he draws found, the line, dog. That's I've it. always found those yeah. so annoying. Right. Sammy, uh, weirdest, worst date you've been on? Uh, when I was in high school, a guy picked me up for a date who turns out he had no plan. There was no plan for the date that he asked me on. And we ended up driving around trying to figure out what to do. And he said, hey, you want to drive through the parking structure at the mall and see how many car alarms we can set off with oh, the fuck. sound of my car? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was, like, oh that was supposed to impress you. Some of those car guys, yeah. they right. love that how loud they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we did that. He set off two car alarms. <laughs> and then Impressive. we ended up back at his mom's house in his room <laughs> to watch a movie. Sure. And, of course, the only movies you can watch are what his DVD selection is. And he brought out Van Wilder and was like, nice. oh, have you seen this? I ha- I didn't know. And he's like, it's the best. If you haven't seen it, we have to watch it. Yes. And Heck then yeah. we watched Van Wilder. Nice. <laughs> got Ryan Reynolds, uh, inspired mm. by Burt Kreischer. Yep. And, and how long was it in that Classic. movie before he tried to make a move? Uh, I, I stayed Ten pretty minutes? far away. The whole oh, thing okay. was so weird. Because usually that's called, hey, you want to come back to my place and watch a right. movie. That's, right. that's, yeah. the, that's the old school Netflix and chill. Right. Yeah. Like, you know, that's, yeah. Van Wilder and <laughs> great choice of movie and right. stuff, but loud car yeah, right. yeah. was super cool. I mean, you were impressed, right? Oh, super impressed. Sounds like a Sammy yeah. problem. You're like, oh, <laughs> you got that one, babe. Yeah, that's cool. I did <laughs> used to have a, a truck that would do that, but that's just because the exhaust was falling off. <laughs> <laughs>